Neuroendocrine neoplasm, once uh, that diagnosis has been made, you, it's graded and there are different grades or, or different forms of aggressiveness of uh, these neuroendocrine neoplasms. So you have you've got going from low grade uh, to very indolent, uh, slow growing, to high grade, which are much more active in the way that they grow. So you've got what's called grade one uh, neuroendocrine uh, neoplasms, which um, are based on the way that the cells are turning over. And so you may see on your pathology report something uh, called KI67, which is the way the cells are, are turning over. And if the cells are between, if the KI67 uh, index is between uh, zero and 2%, that's called grade one, that's very low grade and very slow growing. Uh, grade two, which is an intermediate group, is um, between KI67 proliferation index of three up to 20%. And anything over 20% is uh, known as a high-grade neuroendocrine uh, neoplasm and that's greater than 20 percent but even in that group there's a there's a range of how aggressive um, the cells can be so you have what's defined as poorly differentiated or well differentiated the well differentiated neuroendocrine neoplasms include grade one and grade two but a proportion of grade three are well differentiated and therefore are less aggressive than the poorly differentiated grade three neoplasms, which are, are, are more uh, active and perhaps act more like other, other cancers in, in the way that they uh, grow. And all of that has implications for the type of treatment that you're going to give uh, patients. So it's very important to have an understanding not only of where the tumor is derived from its original site, but also then the grade. And also we take into context if the patient has had surgery, whether lymph nodes uh, have been involved and uh, whether they're spread beyond that. And that's called the TNM uh, classification, tumor node uh, metastasis. Um, and that will all usually be on a pathology report, which is the most important aspect of, uh, of the original understanding and the diagnosis of neuroendocrine uh, neoplasms. And to that point, the role of the pathologist is, is, is key because you have to make sure that the pathologist is experienced in, uh, in assessing biopsies and surgical samples from neuroendocrine patients to make sure that they've graded it properly and the right diagnosis is being made. The KI67 proliferation index, it's often in the letters that are sent out from the clinicians. It's, you may have a copy of the biopsy report which says KI67 proliferation index is 2% or 5% or 20%. And the importance of it is that it's a, it tells you about the biology of, of the tumour. And in essence, all it is, is the way that the cells are turning over. It's called its, its cell cycle, the number of cells that are in cycle and how rapidly they're turning over. So if the KI67 proliferation index is 1%, that's very slow. If it's 80%, that's incredibly high. Most neuroendocrine tumor patients are grade one or grade two, which is the well differentiated type and their KI67 proliferation index is uh, less than 3% for grade 1 and between 3 and 20% for grade 2. But you can get patients with uh, well differentiated neuroendocrine tumors with a KI67 proliferation index of, uh, of more than 20%, that's grade 3, but it's still well differentiated, acts like a neuroendocrine tumor, often is open to the standard neuroendocrine tumor uh, treatments as opposed to the um, poorly differentiated uh, neuroendocrine tumor um, patients where their KI67 proliferation index could be 90% or 100% reflecting a much uh, more aggressive growth uh, pattern.